everyone welcome to new video today we have a very exciting video we're doing a full garden tour and i'm gonna show you everything in the garden so far because it's may we had some really nice weather and the plants are starting to grow very big on the land we have some zucchini that has flowers already seedlings going crazy so i will show you everything and in the end we will show you some other exciting news so keep watching till the end and you will see what the news is this is one of our first garden beds we've made and i planted some seeds in the ground and i also did some seeds in a little pot and started it in the house this is the red cabbage and as you see it's starting to get really big it has a lot of leaves a last kohlrabi it's still very small and i think it will not grow very big but we will see beetroot white cabbage and some wheat so in the meantime i will do some weeding and this one is our broccoli this tree you see is a walnut we discovered it, Ineke was like, just smell on the tree, it has a specific smell, and I was like, mm, a smell? Yeah, it smells like a walnut, so that's a surprise, I think we have to cut down a few leaves so it does not touch the bed. But here we have some marigold flowers, some arugula. And the arugula we didn't use yet, so it has flowers now. And some cabbage, and salad, and carrots. And next to the other one, we have a new one. And we have to start getting soil in, and then we can get some plants in as well. But I don't know yet which plants, just some leftovers, I think. In one of our previous videos, you could see we made some mini greenhouses of old windows we got from a second-hand store. And it was very easy to make, so if you want to have a greenhouse or a mini greenhouse, but you don't want to spend a lot of money or you, may, you want to make it yourself or have laying around some windows, make a mini greenhouse. It works like crazy. We have some extra kohlrabi, some orange flowers, extra flowers, passion fruit, but it's not starting, so I think I have to grow them again. Cauliflower is coming up, and this is stockdose. I don't know the English name. I will put it up here. <laughs> and some extra carrots. And I did a new experiment on the leven le lavender. Because in one of the previous videos you saw me planting lavender and putting a lot of soil on top. So I think they didn't even reach to the surface because I put too much soil on. And now I did less but i don't see anything yet but maybe it needs some extra time we have more broccoli peppers rainbow flower mix spring onion sometimes i have to really think what the name is because i write it down in dutch so i know in one second what plant is but then i have to tell you and i have to think what's the name we have more flowers tomato they're very cute and this time i actually wrote down what kind of tomato it is so this is a meat tomato and this one is cherry tomato little peppers What's the English name of artichoke? Is it like artichoke? I don't know. <laughs> artichoke. 
and some extra watermelon. Our previous watermelons died on the Yugo culture, so now I'm gonna replant them in a bigger pot so I have them longer in the greenhouse so they have more chance to grow big and strong before the snails can get them or caterpillars. That's it for the mini greenhouses now. Recently we plant the lot so that's why they're quite empty. In one of our next videos you can see us plant a lot more. So now we go to the front yard. We are in the front yard now and we have some pickled plants and tomato. And here we have three plants of broccoli and in the middle we have space left for some seedlings from the mini greenhouse. The tomato is doing very well and is growing up, but the pickle plants started to get yellow and the first two leaves they had getting yellow and dying. So if you know why that's happening, let me know. But they're producing new leaves, so maybe it's fine. Maybe they were just in shock. Behind the cabin, or when you come up to our house it's in front we have this beautiful grand big grand is french <laughs> big fake and it all uh, already was here now we go to our next plot our compost bin and a few weeks ago we've got some pellets from our neighbors and made this ourselves so it's very easy you can make this as well you don't you only need three pellets to make one block and every day we put on our kitchen scraps and some stuff from the garden and scoop it over and that's it and here we have our one of our yugal cultures and we planted zucchini on it and some watermelon but I think there's only one or two watermelons left so that's why I was I told you earlier we were gonna make the watermelon in the mini greenhouses a little bit bigger so they have more, ch more chance to survive because they're small and here we are digging our second pond we started but did not finish because it's a hell of a job and it takes a very long time so we're not in a rush so when we want to we go digging and otherwise we just leave it here we have our flower triangle we have very big sunflowers they're giant sunflowers and a sunflower mix so some sunflowers will be kind of orange and red here we have some more flowers flower mix yeah i think all the rest of the flowers are a surprise and this row is gazania Next to the flower triangle, we are making a pathway. Yesterday we bought some new wood chips so we can continue making the pathway. And we have on this raised bed, we have spinach and beetroot. We planted some seedlings spinach and also I planted spinach in the full ground like seeds in the ground and they're doing amazing already and coming up you can see all little spinach and I also planted beetroot but it takes a bit longer to show so in a few days there's beetroot as well but now we only see spinach 
I planted spinach and beetroot together because it's a good companion plant so they provide good health for each other. This is our latest experiment. It's literally an experiment. I never planted plants in the full ground. So we will see how it will work out. But we planted summer carrot, winter carrot, spring onion and white onion. The same as with the spinach and the beetroot, onions and carrots are good companion plants. So that's why I plant them together. Now we go to the big land. When we go to the right, we have our first tree, the orange tree. We did buy some trees on the market and this is one of them. Here is the pond and behind the pond is the herb sparrow. And this is our herb spiral we made a few weeks ago and it's going amazing. Behind this bush, close by, is the lemon tree. We are trying to save it, but uh, the seller said that the tree was going to die and gave it to us for free. But we don't see any sign of life yet, but we keep going. We give him time. This zucchini plant already had three flowers here. This was the second flower and this is the third flower. But I see it's uh, making big spikes now. <laughs> Here is also some butternut squash. This is the peach tree and it's starting to grow some first green leaves. And the uh, apple tree. Over here we planted eight cucumber plants, but two already died and the third one is dying, but the other ones are doing great. This is our last garden bed. We planted some squash, beetroot, spring onion, one very big kohlrabi and tomato. That's the garden tour and now we go to the exciting stuff. Yesterday we went to a big city and bought some new stuff, so we will show you. Watch out ladies. <laughs> we got two 300 liters water barrels because we need them. <laughs> And now the best part that we actually wanted to show you <laughs> is this really cute bench. Look at it. Oh. Nice. <laughs> First we wanted to make our own bench, but it has a metal frame. And, and the price was good. And the price was really good, so... I think we couldn't make it ourselves within that price, price range. No. We're gonna put them on the lens, right? Yeah. Under the bench. Yeah. Let us know in the comments what you think of this garden tour. We've only been here for a few weeks, so it's only the start of something way bigger. So I'm very curious what, what you think so far. And please consider subscribing because we still have our goal to reach the thousand subscribers. So if you want to subscribe, thank you. And then we see you in the next one. Bye!